Welcome to Travel Vibes. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey to Ethiopia's top destinations, from the historic rock-hewn churches of Lalabella to the awe-inspiring landscapes of the Simian Mountains. Join us as we explore the rich history, vibrant culture, and breathtaking natural wonders of Ethiopia. Don't miss out on this adventure. Subscribe to Travel Vibes for more travel inspiration. 1. Lalabella, the city of rock-hewn churches. Lalabella, nestled in the Amhara region of Ethiopia, is a unique destination known for its extraordinary rock-hewn churches, often dubbed the eighth wonder of the world. Carved directly into volcanic rock in the 12th century, these churches are the soul of Lalabella's spiritual and cultural identity. Named after King Lalabella, believed to be divinely inspired, the town serves as a pilgrimage site for Ethiopian Orthodox Christians and is often referred to as New Jerusalem. UNESCO listed the rock-hewn churches, including Street George's Church, Bet Miriam, and Bet Menhain Alam, remain active places of worship. A visit to Lalabella offers a journey into the past, with opportunities to explore these ancient churches, each with its unique architecture and religious significance. The town's annual religious festivals, like Mescal and Christmas, provide colorful cultural experiences. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a spiritual seeker, or an adventurer, Lalibela's mystical allure promises a memorable Ethiopian experience. 2. Simeon Mountains National Park Simeon Mountains National Park, located in the Amhara region of Ethiopia, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a haven for nature enthusiasts and trekkers. This rugged and remote highland wilderness boasts some of Africa's most dramatic landscapes, with deep valleys, jagged cliffs, and precipitous escarpments. The park's star attraction is Raz Dashan, Ethiopia's highest peak, offering breathtaking vistas from its summit. Simeon Mountains National Park is not only a haven for stunning scenery, but also a refuge for unique wildlife, including the endemic Ethiopian wolf, Walia ibex, and baboons. Birdwatchers will delight in spotting lammergeiers and thick-billed ravens soaring above. Exploring this wilderness is a trekker's dream, with numerous trails of varying difficulty levels. The most popular route takes you to Sankabur, Heech, and Chenek, where you can witness the park's dramatic beauty up close. Along the way, you'll encounter traditional villages, allowing you to engage with local communities and experience their way of life. The park offers an unparalleled opportunity to immerse yourself in Ethiopia's highland wilderness, experience its unique flora and fauna, and stand in awe of its awe-inspiring landscapes. 3. Saf Omar Caves Saf Omar Caves, located in the Bail Zone of Ethiopia, are an astonishing natural wonder and one of the largest cave systems in Africa. These underground limestone caves, formed by the Webb River over millions of years, are a breathtaking labyrinth of chambers, corridors, and soaring arches. The cave's name is derived from the revered Sheikh Saf Omar, who used them as a place of worship. Exploring Saf Omar Caves is an adventure like no other. Visitors can traverse the dimly lit passages, admiring the stunning rock formations and the underground river that flows through the heart of the cave. The echoing acoustics of the cave add to its mystique, making it a site of cultural and geological significance. Saf Omar Caves are a testament to the wonders of nature and hold a special place in Ethiopian history and folklore. This subterranean marvel invites intrepid travelers to embark on a journey deep into the Earth's ancient and mystical heart. 4. Addis Ababa Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's bustling capital city, is a dynamic blend of history, culture, and modernity. Known as the New Flower, Addis Ababa sits at the heart of the country, both geographically and as its political and cultural center. One of the city's must-visit spots is the National Museum of Ethiopia, home to the famous fossil Lucy. The Ethnological Museum, located in the former palace of Emperor Haile Selassie, provides fascinating insights into Ethiopia's diverse ethnic groups and their traditions. To delve into the city's history, visit the Holy Trinity Cathedral and the Menelik II Mausoleum. A stroll through Addis Ababa's streets will reveal a vibrant street food scene, where you can savor injera, Ethiopian flatbread, and flavorful stews. 
The city's vibrant atmosphere, friendly locals, and diverse culinary scene make it a fantastic starting point for exploring Ethiopia's rich cultural heritage. Whether you're interested in history, shopping, or experiencing authentic Ethiopian cuisine, Addis Ababa has something to offer every traveler. 5. Omo Valley Nestled in the remote southwestern region of Ethiopia, the Omo Valley is a captivating destination renowned for its indigenous tribes and rich cultural diversity. This untouched corner of the world offers a unique opportunity to witness traditional African customs and ways of life that have remained largely unchanged for centuries. The Omo Valley is home to numerous distinct tribes, such as the Hamar, Mercy, and Karo, each with its own language, customs, and striking adornments like body paint, lip plates, and intricate hairstyles. To explore the Omo Valley and engage with its inhabitants, it's recommended to arrange guided tours through local agencies or operators. Visiting tribal villages allows travelers to gain insight into age-old traditions, rituals, and daily routines. The Omo River, which meanders through the valley, provides a scenic backdrop for both cultural immersion and wildlife viewing. The Omo Valley offers a rare opportunity to step back in time and experience the incredible diversity of Ethiopia's indigenous cultures while surrounded by the valley's breathtaking natural beauty. 6. Gondar Gondar, located in the Amhara region of Ethiopia, is often referred to as the Camelot of Africa due to its rich historical heritage and well-preserved castles. This city served as the capital of the Ethiopian Empire during the 17th and 18th centuries, and its royal complex, known as Faisal Gebi, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The centerpiece of this architectural marvel is Fesselide's Castle, an imposing stone fortress surrounded by a stone wall. Visitors can also explore other royal structures, bathing pools, and religious sites within the complex. Apart from its historical treasures, Gondar is home to the Deborah Burhan Selassie Church, famous for its vividly painted ceiling and walls adorned with angels. The city's vibrant markets, where colorful textiles and traditional crafts are sold, offer a glimpse into contemporary Ethiopian culture. Gondar's royal legacy, architectural wonders, and cultural vibrancy make it a must-visit destination for history enthusiasts and travelers eager to uncover Ethiopia's fascinating heritage. 7. Danakil Depression The Danakil Depression, located in the northeastern part of Ethiopia, is an otherworldly and extreme landscape that offers a one-of-a-kind adventure. It's officially one of the driest and hottest places on Earth, with temperatures that often soar above 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Sitting below sea level, it holds the distinction of being the lowest point in Africa and the second lowest in the world after the Dead Sea. The Danakil Depression is a geological marvel, featuring surreal salt flats, multicolored sulfur springs, and bubbling lava lakes. One of its most iconic attractions is the kaleidoscopic Dalil Sulfur Springs, known for their vivid hues and alien-like appearance. Visiting the Danakil Depression is a challenging but rewarding experience. Due to the extreme conditions, it's essential to join an organized tour with experienced guides who can ensure your safety and provide necessary equipment. The journey may involve trekking across salt flats, observing volcanic activity, and encountering the Afar people who call this harsh environment home. 8. Rock-hewn Churches of Tigray The rock-hewn churches of Tigray located in the northern region of Ethiopia, are a remarkable testament to the ancient architectural and religious heritage of the country. Carved into the rugged sandstone cliffs, these churches are a group of over 100 rock-cut structures that date back to the 4th century. The churches, including notable ones like Abuna Yamada Ga, Debrachin, and Abreha Mietzbeha, are known for their intricate frescoes, cross-shaped designs, and religious significance. Visiting the rock-hewn churches of Tigray is a unique experience that allows tourists to explore not only the historical and cultural aspects of Ethiopia, but also to witness the extraordinary craftsmanship and devotion of the ancient people who built them. Keep in mind that reaching some of these churches involves challenging hikes and climbs, so it's essential to be prepared with proper gear, guides, and permits. 
In addition, respecting the religious sanctity of these sites and local customs is of utmost importance when visiting this awe-inspiring destination. 9. Aksum Aksum, situated in the Tigray region of Ethiopia, is a city steeped in history and is believed to be one of the oldest continuously inhabited places in Africa. This ancient city was once the capital of the Aksumite Kingdom, a powerful empire that played a pivotal role in shaping the region's history. Aksum is renowned for its extraordinary stela, towering obelisks carved from single pieces of granite, some of which date back over 2,000 years. A visit to Aksum offers a chance to explore its rich archaeological heritage, including the Church of Street Mary of Zion, which is said to house the Ark of the Covenant. The city's museums, such as the Aksum Obelisks Museum, provide valuable insights into the kingdom's legacy. Travelers can also wander through ancient tombs, explore underground crypts, and marvel at the intricate carvings adorning historic sites. Aksum's significance in Ethiopian history, coupled with its archaeological wonders, makes it a captivating destination for history enthusiasts and cultural explorers. When visiting Aksum, it's advisable to hire local guides who can provide valuable context and share the city's stories, enriching your experience of this remarkable Ethiopian treasure. 10. Bale Mountains National Park Bale Mountains National Park, located in the southeastern part of Ethiopia, is a breathtaking highland wilderness that beckons nature enthusiasts and adventure seekers. Spread across the Ethiopian highlands, this park is known for its stunning landscapes, rugged terrain, and unique biodiversity. One of the park's highlights is the Sineti Plateau, which stands as the highest plateau in Africa and is home to the charismatic Ethiopian wolf, one of the rarest candid species globally. Visitors to Bale Mountains National Park can embark on hiking expeditions where they'll traverse diverse ecosystems, from alpine moorlands to lush forests. The park also shelters various other wildlife, including baboons, colobus monkeys, and numerous bird species. Whether you're a wildlife enthusiast, a trekking aficionado, or simply seeking a tranquil escape in nature, Bale Mountains National Park promises a remarkable Ethiopian adventure in one of its most pristine natural settings. 11. Giralta Giralta, nestled in the heart of Ethiopia's Tigray region, is a lesser-known treasure that beckons travelers with its mesmerizing landscapes and ancient rock-hewn churches. This remote area is known for its distinctive sandstone mountains, rising dramatically from the surrounding plains, creating a captivating backdrop for exploration. The main attraction in Giralta is the cluster of rock-hewn churches, some of which date back over a thousand years. These architectural marvels are carved into sheer rock faces and offer a glimpse into Ethiopia's rich religious and cultural history. Among the most famous is Abuna Yamada Ga, an awe-inspiring church perched atop a vertical cliff, accessible by a challenging but rewarding climb. Giralta offers a unique blend of natural beauty and cultural heritage, making it an ideal destination for travelers seeking an off-the-beaten-path Ethiopian experience. 12. Bahar Dar Bahar Dar, situated on the southern shores of Lake Tana in Ethiopia's Amhara region, is a vibrant city celebrated for its natural beauty, rich history, and cultural significance. It serves as a gateway for exploring the largest lake in Ethiopia, Lake Tana, which is dotted with historic monasteries and teeming with birdlife. One of the city's main attractions is the nearby Blue Nile Falls, often referred to as Ethiopia's Niagara, renowned for its impressive cascades and lush surroundings. Exploring Bahar Dar offers travelers the chance to visit centuries-old monasteries, such as Yura Kadain Merit, decorated with colorful frescoes and religious relics. Boat trips on Lake Tana provide access to these monastic treasures and opportunities to witness the daily life of the communities living along the lake's shores. Bahar Dar's pleasant climate, scenic landscapes, and cultural heritage make it an ideal destination for those seeking a blend of natural wonders and historical discoveries in Ethiopia. 13. Mago National Park Mago National Park is a breathtaking natural reserve located in the southern part of Ethiopia in the Omo Valley region. Spread over an expanse of 2,162 square kilometers, 
This park offers visitors a truly immersive and untamed African wilderness experience. Established in 1979, Mago National Park is known for its remarkable biodiversity and stunning landscapes. The park is dominated by the Mago River, which winds its way through the arid savanna and dense acacia woodlands, providing a vital water source for the diverse wildlife that calls this area home. Among the most iconic animals found here are the African elephant, buffalo, giraffe, and numerous species of antelope. It is also home to the Mercy people, a unique indigenous tribe known for their distinctive lip plates and vibrant cultural traditions. Visitors can engage in ethno-cultural experiences by interacting with the Mercy community, making Mago National Park a multifaceted destination for both nature and culture enthusiasts. However, due to its remote location and rugged terrain, a visit to Mago National Park requires careful planning, including obtaining necessary permits and hiring local guides for a safe and enriching adventure in this remarkable Ethiopian wilderness. 14. Awash National Park Awash National Park is a captivating natural wonder situated in the northeastern part of Ethiopia. Covering an extensive area of approximately 756 square kilometers, this park is known for its diverse landscapes, wildlife, and cultural significance. Established in 1966, it is one of Ethiopia's oldest national parks and boasts a stunning mix of savannas, acacia woodlands, volcanic landscapes, and the striking Awash River Gorge. The park is a haven for wildlife enthusiasts, offering sightings of numerous species, including oryx, baboons, kudas, and the endangered Ethiopian wolf. The Awash River, which gives the park its name, is a lifeline for the region and creates a lush oasis within the arid surroundings. Visitors can also explore the park's cultural heritage with archaeological sites dating back thousands of years, such as the famous cave paintings at Kandudo. To fully enjoy the wonders of Awash National Park, it's recommended to embark on guided safaris, treks, and bird-watching tours, allowing you to appreciate the rich biodiversity and cultural history that make this Ethiopian gem a must-visit destination. 15. Deberdemo Monastery Deberdemo Monastery is a unique and sacred religious site perched atop a flat-topped mountain in the Tigray region of northern Ethiopia. Established over a millennium ago, this ancient Ethiopian Orthodox Christian monastery is renowned for its historical significance, remarkable architecture, and spiritual importance. The monastery, accessible only by a daunting climb using a leather rope, houses priceless manuscripts, Christian relics, and a rich collection of religious art. Debre Demo is also home to a community of monks who maintain a traditional way of life, isolated from the outside world. The serene and picturesque surroundings provide a tranquil atmosphere for reflection and meditation. Visitors are advised to respect the monastery's dress code and customs, which often include covering one's head and removing shoes upon entering the premises. A visit to Deberdemo offers a unique opportunity to delve into Ethiopia's rich religious and cultural heritage while enjoying breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding landscapes. Thank you for joining us on this virtual journey through some of Ethiopia's most breathtaking destinations. From the ancient rock-hewn churches of Lalabella to the lush landscapes of Simeon Mountains National Park and the vibrant culture of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia offers a diverse tapestry of experiences for travelers. Whether you're drawn to its rich history, stunning natural beauty, or vibrant traditions, Ethiopia has something to captivate every adventurer. So, if you found this video inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Until next time, happy travels.